Before this video starts, I'd just like to make an announcement. I have the Liberal Tears mug uh, for $14.99 on my website. It is the first link in the description if you want to go pick one up. Um, don't worry if it breaks when it comes to your house. I'll send you another one for free out of my pocket. I don't care. I want you to get your Liberal Tear mug. Uh, it comes in uh, Liberal Tears white with the face, black with the face, white without the face, and black without the face. So pick whichever one you want, and it'll come to your door uh, in about three to five days. So that should be epic. First link in the description. Thank you. Let's go on with the video. Okay, so Rachel Maddow has herself an evening last night, and it is just hilarious. So here's how it went. About 3.35 yesterday afternoon Pacific time, Rachel Maddow goes to Twitter and she says, we have Trump tax returns. We have Trump tax returns. Ooh, and everybody goes crazy. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. We're gonna finally find out what he's been hiding for all these years. What is he hiding from? What doesn't he want people to know? Is he secretly named Dmitry Trumpkin? What is his, is he in the pay of the Russians? Does he have no money? Is he actually broke? Has he been stealing money from small children? We don't know. Now we're gonna find out because Rachel Maddow has all the new information. There's this massive buildup on Twitter, huge buildup. And then, she shows up on air, and for like 30 minutes, she does this long lead up, this long drawn out. Now, I don't watch Maddow a lot, so I can't speak to whether she does this regularly. Apparently, she's kind of famous for this. She does like 10 minute monologues that don't lead anywhere, and then finally she gets to the news. And she did that last night, except it felt like hours, and people on Twitter were going nuts. Why don't you just get to the meat of the matter, as my father used to say, get to the meat of the matter, Uncle Eddie. Like, at some point, you're going to have to actually tell us what's in these tax returns. And finally, she gets there, and sad trombone. Here's Rachel Maddow last night on MSNBC. There are definitely um, personality-driven and petty reasons to seek the president's tax returns. Is he not as rich as he says he is? Is he not as charitable as he says he is? Was he in fact under audit when he was using that as an excuse to not release his tax returns? Was that worse than just a bad excuse? Was he really being audited? There's small reasons to be interested, right? But whether it's for small reasons or big reasons, there has been an unrelenting demand by people to see his tax returns. More than a million people have signed the White House petition demanding that he release his tax returns. But with all of that, the concerns about whether he's going to be self-dealing in his tax policies, concerns about whether he might have lied or misrepresented his own financial circumstance during the campaign, concerns about whether or not he might have misstated on things to the FEC. On and on and on. You can see she's going with on that, and on and on. It's unbelievable. The big national security worry. Okay, right? Is there a way the to fast forward to the part where she actually pulls the tax returns? Because she just goes the greater on concern incessantly like this. Donald Trump's Up, tax still going. returns nope. to expose. Up, nope. still going. Has decided to leak. Okay, here we go. A portion of his 2005 tax return, which mm -hmm. is how and why we got it tonight. And I am sure it is only the start, but it's a start. And our little piece of it, we just got it. We'll go through it. Yes. Okay, so and then she goes to break, right? Get, get you through that commercial break. Finally, what does she reveal? What does she reveal? She reveals that Donald Trump in 2005 paid 150. He had made 150 million dollars uh, in uh, in income, and he paid 38 million dollars in taxes. Sad trombone. Because <laughs> like, you know what they were hoping is that he never paid any taxes, right? You know the, what, what they were hoping is that he's declared a loss every year for, for, for all time, that he will, he's not a billionaire. It turns out that $150 million to make in a year, that's a lot of money. The average household income in the United States is somewhere around $56,000. So if you were to earn that average household income for 2,600 years, you wouldn't hit $150 million. He made that in one year. So... Number one, Trump is super duper rich. Well done, Rachel Maddow. You've broken the story. You've got the silver bullet. Donald Trump is no longer president. It's unbelievable. I love when she says, but it is a start. As though she's actually gonna break something. And then she breaks that he just made a crap load of money and paid a crap load of money in taxes. And that's the other part, right? He paid 30, $38 million in taxes, $38 million, okay? That's a lot of money. $38 million is a crap in one year in taxes. Not only that, his effective tax rate that year was 25%. You know what Barack Obama's effective tax rate was in 2015? It was 
You know what Bernie Sanders' effective tax rate was in 2014? It was 13%. You know what Comcast, which owns NBC, you know what their effective average tax rate has been from 2008 to 2012? 24%. In other words, Donald Trump, in this one year of tax returns that they have, paid more as a percentage of his income than any of the people that I just mentioned. But they've been saying for years that he paid no, none, like zero taxes, none. So what did they come up with? I love this. What did they come up with to try and spin this as though Trump did something wrong? Well, you know, Trump only paid that much in taxes because of the alternative minimum tax. The alternative minimum tax is this idiotic tax provision that basically catches you. If you have a lot of deductions and you make a lot of money, then it basically jacks your rate back up. And Trump wants to get rid of that because he says that's not fair. You know, you're basically it's just a money grab. And say, well, if Trump had his way, he would have paid not very much in taxes at all. Right. And if I had my way, I'd pay nothing in taxes legally, because the fact is that I don't want to pay all my money to the government. The government sucks. But I love this. They're going nuts over this. My God, it's just unbelievable. Okay, this was the giantest fail, the giantest media fail since Geraldo Rivera opened Al Capone's vault, if you recall. <laughs> I mean, where, where he made the big buildup. We're going to open Al Capone's, Al Capone's vault, and then this is what actually happened. You know, uh, when we began opening this vault nearly two hours ago, we had no real idea what we'd find inside. As it turns out, we haven't found very much, at least not, uh, not yet. In any case, I think that uh, Kelly answers here, Richard. Uh, a legend, a half century old or so, has been resolved. I don't know if we've gone far enough. I mean, we found the other wall over there. There may be more to be discovered. Maybe, <laughs> okay, this maybe is not. one of the more embarrassing the... moments in TV history, and Rachel Maddow topped it because at least it was Geraldo doing something ridiculous about Al Capone's vault from like 50, 60 years before. Rachel Maddow is doing something about the most sought-after document in modern presidential history, Donald Trump's tax returns, and she comes up absolutely empty. Even the left doesn't know exactly why this is happening to them. Even the left is looking at this going, what in the world? Like, the, no, this, the, Don Lemon said, how is this not good for Trump? How? How is this not good for Donald Trump? Oh, I think it may be good for Donald Trump. I mean, one of the things that's uh, very strange about this is Donald Trump probably would benefit from releasing his tax returns with a lot so this of people. Is David K. Johnson, the guy who's speaking right there, David K. Johnson is the guy who apparently anonymously received the tax returns in his, in his mail. Now, do I believe that Trump leaked his own tax returns? No, I don't believe Trump leaked his own tax returns, because if he wanted to do that, he could have done that a long time ago. It wouldn't have hurt him at all for him to do it. Like, why would he do it now? It doesn't, I guess they were saying that he was trying to distract from the Trump care fail, but I don't, I don't buy that. But it wouldn't surprise me if some guy named John Miller had done it. Right. For, for those who don't know, John Miller is actually a Trumpian alter ego. He uses PR guy. A again, the only reason I say that is because it's really funny. Like they, they go through this whole rigmarole about the tax returns. Now, does this answer every question people have about the tax returns? Of course not, because the fact is that we still don't have Trump's tax returns from any time in the last 10 years. We still don't know why exactly he won't release them. And it seems to me that the same logic that people had with regard to Obama's birth certificate should certainly apply to Trump, right? All the people who said that Obama was actually born in Kenya, the reason he's not revealing his birth certificate is because he's actually born in Kenya. And then, and then Obama reveals his birth certificate, and he's, of course, not born in Kenya. Those same people, they're not calling for Trump's tax returns. But you would imagine that by the same logic, they should be saying there's something nefarious in there that Trump doesn't want you to see. Now, it's very possible that Trump is just trolling people the same way Obama did. Obama trolled people for years on his birth certificate. It's possible that Trump is trolling people for years on his tax returns, and eventually he releases them and there's nothing in them. It's also possible that it shows that he's not worth $10 billion. He's worth like $2 billion. And Trump is such an egomaniac that it's quite possible that he thinks that this would somehow sink him in the public estimation. Like, we're all out here sitting around going, well, you know, now we know he's a liar. He's only worth $2 billion. Guess he ain't that rich, hmm? Again, that's, that's really silly if that's why he's doing it but you know we still haven't answered why he hasn't released the tax returns but it just demonstrates the media's desire for a silver bullet for trump is so high this is why people were sitting on this last night this is why for the first time anyone watched rachel maddow's crappy show was because they were hoping they'd tune in and suddenly she'd reveal hundreds of pages of tax returns and somewhere buried deep in there would be donald trump trying to take a deduction for child sex slavery or something right there'd be a silver bullet buried somewhere in there to destroy donald trump uh-uh didn't happen just hilarious trump himself 
released a statement last night. You can always tell when Trump himself releases the statements because the statements uh, are, uh, include the word totally. If a statement includes the word totally, then Donald Trump wrote it. So here is what the statement said. Before being elected president, Mr. Trump was one of the most successful businessmen in the world with a responsibility to his company, his family, and his employees to pay no more tax than legally required. That being said, Mr. Trump paid $38 million even after taking into account large scales depreciation for construction on an income of more than $150 million, as well as paying tens of millions of dollars and other taxes such as sales and excise taxes and employment taxes and this illegally published return just proves that you can also tell it's a trump tax a, a trump statement because of the run-on sentences despite the substantial income figure and tax paid it is totally illegal to steal and publish tax returns the dishonest media can continue to make this part of their agenda while the president will focus on his which includes tax reform that will benefit all americans good for trump i don't see anything wrong with trump's statement it is not illegal by the way for rachel maddow to put this on the air so long as she didn't actually steal the documents or illegally obtain the documents if somebody just handed them to her like an informant handed them to her and she went with them then she didn't do anything particularly illegal again trump could not have planned this better if she if she, if she didn't if she if trump didn't have anything to do with this he should have because it's just incredible she humiliated herself on national television in a major way demonstrating once and for all that all the media want from all of this is just to destroy trump okay so sean hannity last night uh, kind of assuming that this was going to be a big disaster for trump he went out there and he did his show and he said that uh, nbc was waging a corporate jihad against trump they are breaking laws all in an effort to undermine and delegitimize the newly elected president. NBC News in particular is on a political jihad against the president and his administration. Okay, now I can say that, that Rachel Maddow is awful at her job. I can say that MSNBC obviously has a political bias and that most of journalism is now perpetuated against Donald Trump. That's true. When he says NBC is waging a corporate jihad against Trump, I don't like words like jihad because the idea that it's like some sort of holy war equivalent to, you know, the people who are actually murdering people all over the world, I think is really silly and I think it's over the top. But you can see why the right thinks this about the left. You can see why the right looks at what happened on Maddow last night and we say, uh, guys, you are out of your damn minds. If you think that this is how you're going to bring down the president, you must be totally crazy. I thought the most ironic thing, though, was last night there was a Hillary spokesman named Brian Fallon. And if you recall, Hillary Clinton said that Donald Trump paid nothing in taxes during the campaign. She said the reason he won't reveal his tax returns is because he paid nothing in taxes. This is Hillary during the campaign. Why won't he release his tax returns? And I think there may be a couple of reasons. First, maybe he's not as rich as he says he is. Second, maybe he's not as charitable as he claims to be. Third, we don't know all of his business dealings, but we have been told through investigative reporting that he owes about $650 million to Wall Street and foreign banks. Or maybe he doesn't want the American people, all of you watching tonight, to know that he's paid nothing in federal taxes because the only years that right anybody... There because, because obviously that's not true. Now her spokesman comes forward and says, pay no attention to those tax returns showing that he actually paid $38 million in taxes. We should instead return focus to Trump care tomorrow and the millions it will leave uninsured. <laughs> Oops. Oops, we stepped on the rake, it hit us in the face, and now we should switch the topic because that did not go quite as planned, oopsies. So is it okay to enjoy the schadenfreude of the, of the entire left stepping on its own feet with regard to Trump's tax returns on this one? Yeah, it is. Should Trump still release his tax returns? Yeah, he should. But for the moment, let's just enjoy the spectacle of Rachel Maddow making a huge deal out of the fact that Donald Trump is very rich and pays lots of taxes because it's quite spectacular. I'm just stopping by to remind you that liberals are insane. <laughs> Social justice warriors are becoming more violent and triggered than ever before. Anyways, be sure to subscribe to KGP TV on YouTube and have a blessed day. Yeah, man.